Yo, what is up? Hope y'all are having a great day. If I hadn't got a chance to meet you, my name is Ren, and I'm just honored that you chose to come by my channel. You could have been anywhere in these YouTube streets, but you chose to come hang out with me, and I am thankful. Before we continue, I want to give a special shout out to all the dads. Happy Father's Day to all the dads, the stepdads, the uncles, the older brothers, the grandpas, the pee paws whatever you call call them whatever it is if you're a father figure we want to say happy father's day to you now about maybe like a month and a half ago i made this video and i made this post called the the rebrand and how i was doing this rebrand how i was about to post consistently i was about to do all these things and i did like three videos and i stopped and i got a lot of like reasons a lot of excuses i can come up with but none of them really matter. But can I, I got some exciting news. Um, I think this might be the best excuse. The reason I hadn't been posting is because a lot has changed in this past couple of months. But most recently, as of June 5th, I became a father. And so me and my wife had the just the opportunity and just uh, I guess the honor and privilege to adopt a baby girl. She was born on June 5th. Uh, she was healthy. She is the most precious thing ever. And it's just so cool. I'm, I'm a girl dad. I gotta get a shirt, uh, like the girl dad shirt. And it's been just, I don't know, a journey. Uh, just, we'll probably share a little bit more about it. Um, but just us walking through infertility, uh, just even just how this whole adoption thing came up. It was definitely just a big guy thing. And excited to share more about it. Okay, it's one o'clock in the morning and I am tired it was like I want I just had to record this she finally went to sleep and I'm like you know what I'm just gonna record these past two weeks have been a journey they have been fun and we've learned a lot I'm tired but my wife's a little bit more tired she's been killing it like she like super mom and I'm like dang this is this is just impressive just watching her just become a mom and just naturally do things that I'm like how did you know to do that like, like it's like the things that she, some of the things that she, she's doing it's like she's been like she's like a mom of four but this is our first kid and it's just so cool just to watch her so I wanted to get on here and do this video for dads uh, with newborns and just some tips that I can give you I'm not saying I know everything this is just you know I'm two weeks into this what I have learned okay tip number one be present and be involved it's so important that we are involved early, like involved with everything. Make sure we're changing diapers. We're we're feeding the, our child. We're we're doing whatever we can to do. Be involved. Like as men, we don't get like this like crazy amount of paternity leave. Like we got, you no. Know, I think in other countries, I don't even know what it is. I wish I could have had the stat ready, but especially in those first week or two, like, man, it's so important that we're so involved and it not just be like a one week, two week thing, but just their entire life that they see we're involved. Change diapers, help with the feeding, do the laundry. Like it's big on like right now, I'm like, hey, I'm doing the laundry. I'm gonna make sure all that's done. I'm, um, I'm like changing and cleaning the bottles. I'm making sure all that gets done. Like I'm trying to be as involved as I can. I understand there's certain things that I'm not necessarily good at yet that my wife, she can just kill it. Like she is like doing amazing with it. Like, hey, you know what? I'm gonna let you do that. I'm gonna watch you do it. And I'm also gonna help and assist in other areas. So tip number one, be involved and be present, be there, help, you know, read bedtime stories, do all the things that, that like, it's almost kind of like what you see in movies, but be present, be involved. So that's tip number one. Tip number two is to prioritize self-care. And that's something that really doesn't get talked about a lot, but it's so important. As a first time dad, I think it's easy to, to neglect your own needs just for because of the demands of parenthood but i believe that people around you are better when you are good and it's so important that we take care of ourselves whether that's that's physically that's spiritually emotionally mentally all those things like i'm not going to the gym like i'm an avid gym goer but i haven't been going to the gym 
like that. I've only been like twice since she's been born, but I go outside on a little five minute walk or I do push ups around the house or I cut the grass while she's taking a nap, which is kind of hard because I don't really want to wake her. But I find things to do just even like for my mind, like I might go play a video game for like 10 minutes or I'll do something. It's so important that we don't just not do anything because it doesn't look the same way that it looked in one season. It's going to look a little different. We got to just keep moving forward and make sure that we take care of ourselves. Tip number three is don't be afraid to ask for help. As men, a lot of us can tend to be prideful and we don't want to ask for help. But I want to encourage you, ask for help. I was asking all kinds of questions at the hospital because I'm like, I, I ain't never done this before. And I don't want to pretend like, like I know what I'm doing, especially like somebody's life is at stake. I ain't got time to play and pretend like I know. So I'm asking questions like, hey, why, why do we do this? Why is this? How come her glucose level is like this? I'm asking all these questions, even with my wife, like, well, why did you do that? Like, how did you know to do that? Like, like, and sometimes she can't answer. She's like, I don't know. I just do it. I'm like, well, that ain't helping me, but okay. Um, I ask for help. Ask for someone to like, hey, can you can you hold her for a second? Like, I just need a quick little second. I need a break. Whatever it is, ask for help. It's so important that, hey, you know, you're not this kid's savior. You're their parent. And refer back to point number two, they're better when you're good. And sometimes for you to be good, you gotta ask for help. So tip number three, don't be afraid to ask for help. So I hope this video helped you. Uh, maybe you are a first time dad and you're like, yeah, these tips help me. Or maybe you are a dad and you got some other tips you wanna add. Um, just come put, add them in the comments below. Uh, thank y'all so much for watching. Can't wait for y'all to meet her, meet my family and everything. Hope y'all have a great day. Once again, happy Father's Day. And I'll see y'all later.